uh, it was yesterday I saw um, the story on the kids in the in the UK. Oh. And mostly because they were kids, you know. Mm. That's why it really got to me. It's sad. You take your kids for summer, as it were, dance classes, mm. children. So and then a deranged psychopath decides to step into a dance studio. Mm. And from what I heard, two of the adults that were training them actually put their lives on the line to, wow. to, um, to protect the kids and they are in a critical condition. Two kids are dead, and it's yeah, the sad is, you know, because because they are kids mostly. Yes, there's that sentimentality there because they are kids. So quite very sad. I don't know what the UK can do because I mean, in the in the in the US is gun violence. In the UK is knife violence because sad. of course owning a gun in the UK is quite different. Of course we have our own here. Not saying that we focus on things outside, but this was a bit sentimental for me because kids are involved. I mean your kids too so quite sad commiserate with all quality. of them we yeah, yeah. are commiserate with the families and all of that and hopefully the ones that are injured get recover, uh, recover yeah. you know and then back here sad. and then back here in nigeria based on the kids yeah, yeah back here in nigeria so you know um, we also saw pictures yesterday there were fights in this particular video i saw they're pulling down this barbed fence it was coming down, and that was, it was allegedly supposed to be MTN first stack office, right? Now, for months before now, they have they've been sending text to Message. virtually all major networks that you should link your name to your SIM, right? Now, for some people, they've linked to. I, I know I've done it once or twice. In fact, some people have even done that once, and they were still getting those messages. Yeah. And then their lines were disbarred, uh, were were barred. Barred, yeah. You know, after. That particular period, but you see, a number of people actually didn't do it because I know there's some people that I know they uh, they didn't do it, and they come out. Ah, I did it. I linked it. No, they didn't link, and then so it all came to a head yesterday when over the weekend, you know, they were. I have a line that has been barred also, one particular, and that's because of I did not hit to that call, but my main line I already done it and all of that, and then this went on and then they were. It's basically riots as it were, because in those offices they tore down fences and were. Threatening. threatening to yeah. beat up staff and all of that. Why do we, as a people, always... And now, I know the cases of those that maybe may have linked and then there are issues. And all that. Yeah. Why do we, as a people, why do we always wait until... The last minute. ...action yeah. has been taken? Why are we so reactive? Why are we <sighs> not proactive as a people? Because it's the same thing in every other thing. You know, uh, why don't we... You see, and you don't even have to, to link it. Maybe I wish you... I would show, you don't have to even go to the place. They, are, they sent links that you can do it by yourself on their sites. Okay, so, so there are so many different angles to this particular issue. Uh, first of all, how, if you are talking about the links being sent to people, how many people are savvy enough to actually use links and understand those links are legit? We've been warned against clicking links here, clicking links there, putting your information here, putting it there. People don't trust these links all the time. Sometimes you might get a, a, an SMS from the bank there's a particular bank that they showed us the difference between this letter A and this letter A that you don't know which one is actually the real bank. So let's even remove the whole link thing. Um, now, there are people that have been sent out to companies, to offices to help you link your NIN to your phone line. There are people that were going around with devices that looked like those voters thing. What they, I don't know what they call them now. Mm -hmm. And they were helping. But I just feel like People just don't take things like that seriously until they have to. Why? Because there are just so many other things they're dealing with. They're dealing with trying to get the kids to school. They're dealing with trying to get transportation to the office. They're dealing with traffic. They're dealing with hunger. They're dealing with so many different things. Why should my phone line now be giving me drama, be giving me stress? You know, So people are just looking for that extra push over the edge before they go and do anything extra because it's considered added stress, added pressure, mounting all the other pressures that they have. So yes, we are reactionary. Yes, we wait till the last minute, but that's, that's my opinion. I think people just are looking for one less additional stress to their every week, week's worth of stress. You know, I don't know what you think. To be very honest, this particular situation, I know, as you rightly said, there are different angles to see it. But to be honest to me, the angle that prevails above everything is honestly, I don't want to call it lack of 
seriousness on the part of the organizations. Let me not say that because I'll say, okay, maybe they are trying to do the yep. best they can do. But then again, we need to remember that there was a time that, fine, they said, okay, link, 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 we did link. Yeah. Then for some weird reason, all that didn't matter, we're told to link again. Yeah. So to be honest, a lot, a, a higher, I would say a higher amount of people actually did heed to the first call yeah. to link, link, link. I was one of them and everything. Did I, did it stop me from literally having issues? No, it did not. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me to link again, it's like, okay, what's the difference this time? Do you understand? So, and I feel with everything, right, something that's very important, I feel we even like, I mean, we as a people generally from the top down literally fail to understand is <sighs> communication needs to be effective. Okay. Even with regards with what's happening now, the threat of the, what I, I won't call it the threats, um, the protest that is literally um, 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 being planned or pre being unplanned, all of that and everything. The major issue that we're having now that I feel that Nigeria is having now is a lack of effective communication. Right? With everything that is happening, people are just, people are panicking. People are scared. People are worried, thinking, okay, fine, this business I, I've been trying to do and all of that, what is, the, what is the likelihood that it will actually survive? Do you understand? I always have had the opinion, I've been of the opinion that, see, a Nigerian problem is not a problem that can be fixed in one year, four years, or even eight years. Mm -hmm. I've always had the opinion that, see, before this country literally even gets to the part where it needs to literally start growing, we will go through those tough times. And I would say, fine, we are in tough times. But people don't know or are not sure if these are the tough times in the oh, sense no. of these decisions that are being, being made that is taking us through this. Have the people literally making the decision put out enough effort to break down the communication and communicate with their constituents yeah. in, in their vi various levels so that they communicate to the people so we understand why it is hard. People at the top, educated, exposed, can understand that, okay, fine, these policies are making sense or will make sense in the long run. Yeah. But to those that don't understand it, which are the majority of the people, what, what is being done to communicate that? So amazing, it's amazing you should say that because there was an article that came out yesterday breaking down all the, the so basically a list of demands of the, <clears throat> the people and then a list of things that government has apparently put in place. And it was like a compare and contrast saying that these things are actually happening. Exactly. But the language that was being used was so technical and so advanced that it just feels like the people that actually need to hear it, maybe they've heard that someone said something, but they don't exactly know the, what they the, the language being used, used to be is honest, not, is not. one thing. But even the language, as technical as this is, is this being put out there effectively now, to be reached? If it was uh, election period now, they know how to break down jingles and promos into PGN, into local languages, into songs, into songs to you know tell the people who they should or who they you know who okay, is wait, a preferable communication now, yeah. candidate. I'm just I'm just trying to say that in terms of communication, these messages are not getting down to the people that. Okay, so if it's if it's um, maybe for the, if you are talking about protest, or maybe that's a different one. But if it is on. Uh, the linkage, the mm. need seem linkage. Yeah. Ah, they've overdone. No. Like what? Basically, every radio station I turn to, mm. you don't stay 20 minutes without hearing the message from. So, the Mike, the information right. I'm talking about is not to link. Mm. In when the issue happened, when the linking didn't work, mm. and we asked to relink, where we where we made to understand why okay, so or this what is happened. It, yeah. This is it, yeah. For I don't, it, it could have been incompetent on their own part. Do you understand? But explaining what happened doesn't save or doesn't help the situation. Some people, for some does. people, they work. I know, I, yeah, I it could, it but they don't. It's but moved. for the fact that you're told to do it again, if it didn't work for you, for me, it worked yeah. at that time. That I, don't, first I, don't link I don't know if there was, yeah, or it no, was, that. it was but fingerprint, they gave, it was, um, they took your picture, they did all that, so, right? So, the, the NI, the ININ is a second one that was yeah. biometric, okay? This is just linking the number, mm -hmm. and for the links, you have to find the way we've told you at different times how to find. Fishing links are no original links. You can know. You go to the direct website. We are in an era of technology now where things are easier. So you cannot use an excuse that uh, there is a susceptibility of fake links coming up. And that's the reason why you cannot use a standardized method, which is via links. It's much easier. Nobody has to go to the office. The funny thing, the you interesting understand? thing, I think that what actually about how to learn more how to do people it. to be upset. To be honest, I just watched some interviews of people that were actually at. So people actually did link. Mm. 
Yeah. So there was a girl that literally was interviewed. She actually spoke about how she linked, oh, like every time, the first time she linked, the other time she actually linked, but her line still got barred. She, and that literally cost her mother a job of over five million naira. That's because a, they were trying to reach her and they couldn't reach her. So could that's happen. what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, that could happen. Mm. I'm just, I'm, I, say, I say that there are some people that have said they've done, yeah. but I know a number of people who did not. Yeah.